Yes, I do. I love this mm, on enchiladas. So good. Isn't it good? Welcome to the kitchen. I'm here with my friend Cappy. It's the dog days of summer, but one of the most delightful vegetables that comes out of the garden is corn. And Cappy is preparing uh, corn on the cob, Mexican style. Now, is this peaches and cream? This is peaches and cream, a bicolor uh, corn. And I like to steam it. I would never, never, never boil corn because yeah. that just destroys the flavor. Ah. Or you could grill it. Yeah. And if you grill it, you can simply soak this in water mm -hmm. so the husk won't burn. Yeah. And tie it with some kitchen twine, throw it on the grill, and then you've got a little nifty handle. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Now let's go back to why you don't boil it. Is it because it reduces the flavor, the intensity Completely. of the Completely. The kernels are, are so tender, yeah. it absorbs the water. Yeah. So if you don't introduce water to mm. the corn and mm. just simply steam or grill, you get the full flavor yeah. of the corn. Excellent. Kernel. You know, I think that the best time uh, to, to eat sweet corn is as soon as it comes off the stalk. The longer it um, lies about after harvesting, it tends to go from that sweet milk to starch. Definitely. But I hope you grow some corn next year. Well, I know. You know, when we took a walk through the garden, I do miss seeing the corn. But we really need more space to really grow corn properly. But um, I'm, I'm certainly uh, intrigued by the idea. Well. The steaming is so easy. It's only going to take uh, five to seven minutes. Mm -hmm. And you could do this earlier in the day and then just heat it up in the steam basket. Oh, I see. That's good, particularly if you're having guests. Exactly. Definitely plan on two ears per person mm, it's that because good. it is that good. I usually don't tell people what's in it because it sounds weird, mayonnaise and corn. <laughs> but that's the traditional way to make it. So, so, so easy. Take the corn. Okay. Steam it while it's still warm. Okay. Slather it with the mayonnaise. Look at that. And then we're going to sprinkle it with the cotija cheese. And the mayonnaise will help it adhere. Mm -hmm. And just roll it around. Mm -hmm. And then sprinkle it with a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay. It's going to really contrast nicely with the sweetness of the corn. And then a yep. squeeze of fresh lime. Okay. And you got to try this. How beautiful. Look at that. Oh my heavens. I told you. What a way to have yeah, corn. Isn't it great? Oh, it's fabulous. Now I want to ask one question about the amount of cheese that one should have on hand uh, to do. Let's say you're going to do a dozen ears, you're having six people over. A couple of cups of couple corn. A couple of cups, mm -hmm. all right. It's maybe a mm -hmm. cup, cup or so of mayonnaise. A dozen ears of corn. About three limes and your cayenne pepper. And that little tanginess from Ooh. the lemon and the mayonnaise Ooh. with the cheese and the lime and the No, I was going to say the lime will really set it off. Yeah. Yeah. Cappy, thank you so much for sharing this thank recipe you, with Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Well, do give this a try. Thank you.